Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Alexandra. Welcome to another video. So I have a quick video for you guys and it's basically my startup expenses as a new real estate agent. I know a lot of people have this same question. I've had a friend message me on Instagram saying, you know, she would love to see like the expenses and like outfits and stuff. So I'm trying to get these videos out for you guys as fast as possible. But I did keep track of my expenses from when I first registered for classes to now. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys. This is gonna be just a quick little video breaking down what I spent on, what I think you could probably save on a little bit and what I felt was worth it. So let's just get right into it. So I do have my list in front of me, so I'm just gonna be reading it from there. So I first purchased the course for $800 and it was through Gold Coast Schools. I had such an amazing time. I went for a week straight, so I took off of work for a week and I'll put the video up there of like what I thought about it and stuff um, or like my thought process throughout the class, right? But I do think it was a great class. Um, it is a, a bit expensive. Um, I think it was worth it. Um, I got to experience the classroom setting, but I know there's a bunch of cheaper options you can take um, to take the required course hours before taking your exam. Um, I saw one guy, I think he found it online for like 70 bucks, something like that, but he did it all online, all himself. And I just wanted to go to, through a school that I knew, you know, people have taken it through. Gold Coast has been around for a very long time and I just felt safe putting my money into it. Again, it could have been a little bit less money, but it's an investment in myself, so I was okay with it. With that $800, it did pay for the pre-licensing and the post-licensing, so I kinda got two classes, so if you wanna break it down, they were each 400, but take it however you, know, you feel comfortable and what fits your budget. So then as you're taking the course, it's a good idea to do your fingerprints and fill out your DBPR application. And the DBPR application was $83.75. Um, I did my fingerprints at a police station for only $25. Um, they give you a list on the DBPR website of places you could get it done. And I called the police station and they were the least expensive. So I went there literally took five minutes it took me longer to get there and drive back to the class during like the lunch break than to like get the fingerprints done it was super quick um and then the second half to the fingerprints is the background check and that was um they gave you a little ticket on your um fingerprints after you've done them and it says to fill out the you know for the background test and that was 37 25 and then once that was complete and I had passed my course exam, I was eligible to take the state exam. And to register for the state exam here in Florida was $36.75. And I took that on April 19th. Um, it was such a great day uh, after I passed, of course, before it was just stressful. But um, I only had to take it once, so I only spent the $36.75 on the exams. And then once I picked a brokerage, I had to sign up for the MLS and for um, the Realtor Association in my area. And the MLS was so pricey, but it's expected and it's not really a surprise. It just kind of just hurts my pocket. Um, but yeah, so the MLS for when I signed up, I did it May 4th. So I think it was prorated from what I understood. I didn't 100% understand the invoice. Um, it was $1,233.18. I'm still confused on when I have to renew it. Um, I don't know, I think it's next May or something. I don't remember, but it was 1200 bucks. So keep that in mind. You are gonna need a bit of money just to sign up and that's with regardless of whatever brokerage you go to. So it's not like you could save money by going to one over the other, just so you know. And then my final expense was um, my monthly fees to my brokerage. I am with eXp Realty, so I only pay $150 a month. They don't have office fees like other companies because they are big on like the eXp world and the virtual world. So um, if you're upline or sponsor, has an office that they, you know, allow people to go to, then, you know, 
they let you, but it's not part of our like monthly fees. So with all those expenses totaled up, you get a total of $2,364.93. It's a bit of money, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've said this before, it is an investment in yourself, but at the end of the day, you know, how much are you worth? How much is your future worth? How much is your career worth? So I don't mind paying the $2,000, um, but just know to save up for it. Make sure you're in a, you know, financial place to do so and, you know, kill it. Put it, give it your all. If you're going to invest this much money, might as well make it worth it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Again, I am working on videos as fast as I can to get them out to you guys, so please bear with me. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.